Welcome back to a very feel-good Wednesday morning, regardless of what the weather is outside, it's getting hot in here. We're about to experience something incredible. If Chiro is this excited about it, you know that it is a major highlight on the motorsport calendar. Chiro, welcome, sir. Hello. Good to have you out of the basement for a second. Yes. Not to say that we aren't going back to the basement for our car review, but this looks like one of the coolest events ever. Yeah. Dude, I mean, fill us in here. I'm, I'm still, I got back on Sunday <laughs> night and I'm still, uh, <laughs> like this. It was just one of the best motorsports events I've ever attended, and that includes Formula One. Like, this was wow. just, the racing is close, the spectators can get up even closer you know you're right on top of the pit lane you're right on top of the start line so when those cars scream off the start line you're right oh, there okay well, before we, we get the background let's see it in action this is going to take your breath away take a look That is the Samola hill climb. Hey. Dude, how are those cars, hey. man? I can understand yeah. why you're like a little kid here. Yeah. So <laughs> kid what is Christmas. the event all about, man? Okay, so hill climbing is one of the oldest forms of motorsport. Basically what would happen is rich landowners in the UK <laughs> would build a road up a hill on one of their pieces of land. The Goodwood Festival of Speed, for instance, okay. overseas in the UK, that's kind of what that is. It's actually on private land. So basically, um, this is probably the best example of this form of sport in South Africa. We used to have one down here in series, but it was characterized by some really bad accidents oh. where spectators got hurt. And the nice one just feels a lot better run and a lot better organized and seems like there's a bit of better camaraderie between the drivers. It's kind of like we're all here to do the same thing. It's really dangerous. So let's just all play a bit safe and just get up the hill and see who wins. Who's fastest. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about who's fastest, we saw some unbelievable cars yeah. there. Every yeah. what, what, what took the cake for you? So I've got the results for you right now, but what I wanted to quickly give you was some maths. I know it's early, but bear with me oh, here. Come on. So, <laughs> so when you're doing 120 k's an hour, you're covering a k every 30 seconds, right? Okay. This is a 2k course that was one in 41 seconds. Yeah. That's how fast <laughs> these guys are going up this hill, and we'll see later that oh, there were some accidents. So the winner, uh, and we've got a pick of it actually, it's this orange race car. Now, some people might say, oh, it's a bit unfair that a race car is going up the road, and what about all the road legal cars? But you know what, it's got this, there's this great bring what you have attitude. Yeah. Whatever you got, you got a race car in your garage, bring it, let's race it up the hill. It's called a Chevron B19, driven by Franco Scribante, and he ran up in a new record time, 41 seconds, point one. Five, nine. Is this from a standing start? Oh, standing start. Goodness, it's man. so quick. And then the one of the crowd pleasers of the day, and I've got a picture of it, I hope they'll show it, is uh, Desmond Goodside. Now, we met him at the Top Gear Festival launch. He's got a racetrack in his back garden. <laughs> you know, he just stole my future life. Um, he's got a silver skyline with 1,300 horsepower. But how do you do that? How do you put that in a skyline? How does that work? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. There's a lot of money. That's how you put it in a skyline. So he was second, and then third was actually another Nissan Skyline. Line GTR, a guy called Darren Goodmans. And, and you know what? Half a second separated all of them. The racing is that close. How important are events like this? You, know, you mentioned that they, you know, guys rock up with race cars, but I'm sure yeah. the guys who aren't driving race cars love putting their machines to the test yeah. against race cars. Exactly. Well, there was some special machinery there. I've got to give a shout out to a guy. I don't have a picture, unfortunately, but he had a BMW which looked like a normal BMW, but it was not a normal BMW. <laughs> Something this was thing a little gets off. in telephone <laughs> business, rips its shit off. <laughs> And races race cars. No, it was cool. There was some nice stuff there. The um, Lamborghini was quite special as well. And you had know, a lot of money on the line. Any yes. crashes, any mishaps? Okay, so <laughs> I, I mean, I, I really battled to talk about this because I've been in some big accidents yeah, myself sure. um, and I've been responsible for some accidents Whoa. as well. And uh, yeah, we had somebody Whoa, going and the wheel off comes off in a Jaguar F type. Now, this for me says a few things. So I checked with the driver. He's actually okay. He's a bit shaken up. But um, this, this says a few things for me. Modern cars 
cars are really safe, but they're only as safe as you make them. So please yeah. put your seatbelt on. And secondly, don't race on the road. Yeah. The only place to race is closed roads or race circuits. Because if you have an accident like that on a public road, you not only endanger yourself, yeah, you're gonna you kill endanger other the, people. On the side of the road, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and you know, I think that is the, the beauty of an event like this. So many guys want to test the muscle in the car. Yeah. This to gives them the, the opportunity to really see what their hard-earned um, dollars are gonna, you know, gonna produce. Um, what was your favorite car, do you think, on the day? Okay, it had to be the Lamborghini. Goodness me, <laughs> to see an Aventador and hear an Aventador at full chat. I mean, first of all, like, kudos to the guy for bringing a six million rand car <laughs> out of his garage to a hill climb where that can happen. Yeah, for you sure. Know? And, oh. uh, and giving the crowd, I mean, the first time that Lamborghini took off, the crowd cheered. Oh and we, we had it in the video there, and everyone just clapped. And it sounds like an old F1 car. I love Lamborghinis. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> well, well done to everyone who competed in the race. We've still got our car review coming up yes. this morning. Um, what are we going to be checking Volvo out? Volvo XC60. Very, very nice. Oh, I look forward to that. But first, let's soften the mood. Get those um, emotions in check again with a little bit of music.